Hampshire took complete control on the second day of their opening LV County Championship match against Leicestershire at the GS Bowl thanks to a fine all-round performance with both bat and ball. The home side resumed on 286 for four but lost Sean Irvin for 69 after he added 12 to his overnight score. That brought in the exciting Adam Wheater on his Hampshire debut after his winter move from Essex. A diminutive figure, Wheater's shots pack a real punch as the Leicestershire bowlers were soon discovering, especially Matthew Hoggard who proved to be expensive in the morning as Wheater found one boundary after another in what was a mightily impressive debut performance. Even more impressive was James Vince. He may have been a little under par last summer in averaging 24 with a bat, but he started this season in fine style. Beginning the day on 77, he went to the sixth first class 100 of his career in the morning. It required 143 balls to get there and had smashed 17 fours. Post lunch, both batsmen continued to make batting look rather easy. Vince was by now looking at his very best and a career best score of 180 may have just been at the back of his mind as the boundaries kept on coming. As he closed in on his 150, he took his boundary count to 21. His partnership with Wheater added a further 104 runs to take the total to 412, having remembered been naught for two at one point. Vince certainly deserved his 150, but trying to press on, he was brilliantly held on the boundary's edge by Shiv Thakor for 148 to give debutant Ollie Freckingham his third success. Hampshire, though, now pressed on, with Wheater moving neatly along to a fine 50, which had occupied 72 deliveries. In that, he struck eight fours. He, as with George Bailey on the first day, appears to be an excellent acquisition for a Hampshire side very keen on adding some four-day success to their one-day excellence. Wheater now played second fiddle to Chris Wood, a man who proved last year that he knows how to bat. He produced some thumping shots and quickly moving along to a quicker than a runner ball 28 as he helped his side to 450 and to allow Jimmy Adams to make a timely declaration. That came once Wood was bowled by Jigger Nake. With Wheater unbeaten on 56, Hampshire went in on an impressive 454 for seven. Leicestershire's new opening pair of Michael Thornley and Niall O'Brien made a steady enough start in their reply as they saw out the opening eight overs in knocking off 31 of the runs. It looked as if their team would make a good stab of their reply. But as it was, wickets were never far away. First to go was O'Brien, courtesy of a fine low catch by Irvin off the bowling of Wood. What the visitors needed was to establish an early partnership to give those in the dressing room some confidence. But that was something they were unable to achieve as Thornley was bowled by James Tomlinson for 14, the same score of his opening partner. So Leicestershire now looked to their experienced new captain Ramnaresh Sarwan to bed in for some time. But while he tried to do that, Wickets fell at the other end, Ned Eckersley also finding Tomlinson too hot to handle and being bowled without playing a shot. Leicestershire were in some trouble when they then lost Josh Cobb, he the first man to go in single figures. Tomlinson had picked up three for nine in a crucial six over spell which had now reduced the visitors to 64 for four. How they now needed Sarwan to shine. An undoubtedly classy player, the man with 87 tests and 179 ODI caps to his name, played some delightful strokes as he tried to keep the pumped-up Hampshire attack at bay in making a good fist of this contest. Sarwan did have a moment of luck though as he was put down in the covers of David Balcom. But thankfully for Hampshire, that didn't prove too expensive as on 25, the West Indian missed a flick off Irvin and was bowled. Thakor helped bring up three figures, but he too then perished only half forward to Wood to go leg before for three at 108 for six. The follow-on avoidance target of 305 looked a long, long way off when Matt Boyce was the seventh man out with a total on 112, Irvin disturbing the stumps again. In spite of that, the Zimbabwean was brought out of the attack and replaced by Danny Briggs, who struck with his sixth delivery Freckingham, the man to be bamboozled. Wood then had Nate taken behind by Wheater to leave Leicestershire reeling on 118 for nine, the last five wickets going for 21 runs in nine overs. 
Importantly, the last pair of Hoggard and Alex Wyatt stuck around for half an hour to ensure their openers didn't have too much time to face when following on. They batted well enough, even though, as tailenders often do, there was some hilarity with the calling and running between the wickets at times. Still, they had added 25 by the time Hoggard edged Tomlinson to Bailey, as Leicestershire were all out for 143. The effort of the last pair meant that O'Brien and Thornley had only a dozen deliveries to see out before the close. Two maidens were bowled, which means that when Leicester should go again on day three, they still need to score 311 runs just to avoid an innings defeat.